Uh, today we are going to make a simple potato and onion vegetable. This is used in many, many dishes. It's also used as a filling for crepes and um, it's always just eaten with bread. Vegetables always get eaten with bread and rice gets mixed with, uh, with lentils. So we're going to start, we have the, all the ingredients here, potatoes, onion, ginger, green chilies, cilantro for decoration. We have black mustard seeds. In Indian cooking, you always use black mustard seeds. And then what we have, urad dal. This dish particularly comes from the south of India, and so they always season everything with this white lentils. And these you can get in an Indian store. If you, if you don't want to run to an Indian store, you can omit this. But this is, um, and you can also use yellow mustard seeds for black mustard seeds, which is perfectly fine. The other spice is turmeric, which is, um, which is a ground which is a root that grows underground and it's yellow. It's just like ginger, but doesn't have the ginger flavor. It has its own flavor and it gets sun dried and then ground up. And it's used to color the dishes and it's also used for flavor. Um, in India, the land is very barren and so the food has to be colorful. That's like a requirement of Indian food. And then there is a very interesting, uh, it's, spice called hing or the English name for that is asafoetida and it's um, it grows on it on the tree and it um, it oozes out as a sap uh, and then when it oozes out it hardens up and then people you can break off of it from the tree and you can uh, they powder it and it's very coarse at that time and so when they powder it um, they add some whole wheat flour or rice flour so people with um, allergy to um, whole wheat should avoid that. And this is another spice that can be totally eliminated from the dish. So we are going to start with um, turning the stove on, of course, and uh, always heat the pan first. Um, because if your pan is wet, then the oil you pour into it will splutter. So we are going to let this warm up. I know my pan is dry, so I don't need to wait too long. I'm going to add oil and then let the oil heat up because um, you, we, when we add the seeds, uh, mustard seeds and dal, we want the dal to splutter and the seeds will pop. And the, the oil has to be heated up for about two minutes before you add the seeds to it. So... Um, this is a very interesting uh, dish that can also be, if you have leftovers, or even if you don't have leftovers, you can um, take a pita bread and fill this filling in it, and then grill the pita bread, and it makes great stuffing for sandwiches. Now the ginger is grated. You can chop it fine, that's, uh, that's fine. You want to use fresh ginger for this because nothing beats the flavor of the ginger. And then I have these chilies here that are going to go in this dish. And they, I kept them long so that people who don't want to, don't like it hot can pick them out. Um, and they, I keep the seeds in because that makes it more spicy. If you didn't want these potatoes to be spicy at all, you just eliminate the chilies and it will be just fine without the chilies. Um, Indian food doesn't have to be hot, but it has to be spicy. So one way to tell if your oil is hot or not is if you put your hand over your pan, you can kind of uh, feel the heat. And that's the heat of the stove and the pan, and it's not necessarily the heat of the oil. So when you think your pan is hot, you want to wait another 30 seconds before you add stuff to your oil. So I think we are going to be just about ready to add the mustard seeds and the urad dal. So I have my mustard seeds ready and I have them in the oil now and um, you can see it's foaming up a little so I think the oil is fairly ready and I'm going to add the urad dal. It's the bean. Urad dal is from, dal is any bean that is 
whole bean that is split in half and the skin is removed or may not be removed. So we are going to add now the urad dal. Um, it's a black bean and the black skin is removed and the inside is white. And um, then you want to stir it up a little bit, but not too much stirring because you don't want, when you stir it too much, it, it cools off your seeds and you want the seeds to pop and the dal to turn brown. And then I'm ready with my onions. And you want to uh, start with onions when you are a beginner cook uh, because the chilies, when you add them directly to the oil, can pop. And it can make the oil, uh, uh, it can make you sneeze. Um, and so you don't really want to do that. And the dal is nicely browned now. So I think I'm ready for my onions to go in. I'm just waiting for the seeds to pop, but they're a little adamant. They don't want to pop today. So that's all right. We'll go ahead and add the onion. And, and then you want to serve them. And now it's safe to add the chilies and ginger because now the oil has cooled off a little and so so the chilies are not going to do any harm to the cook. So we, we stir this up so that the onions are coated with oil and I'm going to add my ginger and I want to, since the potatoes are already boiled or steamed and peeled and chopped, um, we don't need to, we want to make sure that the onions are cooked properly. So you want to wait until they are wilted. And um, so I'm going to add my ginger, which is about one and a half tablespoon. And then give it a good stir. And we're, this will take about the, um, about three to five minutes, depending on how raw you want your um, uh, onions to be. So, you know, some people like them very crisp. I like them quite wilted. Okay, so now you can see that the onions are wilted uh, and li lightly browned. This is exactly what we want. And so now I'm going to add the turmeric and salt. and lemon juice. And you want to try and use the fresh ingredients. Remember, India is still a country where everything is, um, um, or not necessarily organic, but everything is cooked. Um, um, women take great pride in feeding their men and their family um, um, freshly cooked meals. And we have, up until few years ago, we did not everyone could afford refrigerators, and so everything that you made today had to be used up, and so everything got uh, prepared like fresh and uh, in enough quantity so that um, it can all be used up. So like lemon juice, you don't want to use reconstituted lemon juice, you definitely want to use natural, like lime or lemon juice is fine. And then now I have added the potatoes to these onions. Um, and salt and all the spicing is there. So now you're just mixing up and heating up the potatoes just enough so that um, the spices will coat potatoes. And you just mix it all up. This is fairly simple to make and quick and if you have when you are baking potatoes or for, for another meal, you can bake some extra and next day you'll have these um, uh, ready to, you can put up, make this um, bhaji um, for another meal. Taste it for salt and lemon juice and make sure and adjust our spices 
And then if uh, it tastes right, we'll decorate it with cilantro. You can also use grated coconut if you like um, to decorate it with. But not, do not use desiccated coconut. It has to be fresh coconut. And you can get it in the freezer section of any Indian store. Uh, that's another ingredient that's uh, important in South Indian cooking is coconut because all of South India is coastal. And so they use a lot of coconut and they cook this dish actually with coconut oil. We used canola oil and I use a mixture of canola and olive oil sometimes. So this looks nicely seasoned and done. And I'm going to turn the stove off, the heat off, and it will um, continue cooking a little bit. Um, and then we can just decorate it with chopped cilantro. You always want to wash your cilantro and then uh, chop it. And you can also use the stem um, uh, if you like, you know, because it's, uh, as long as it's tender. And there is your bhaji already.